Hey YouTube, this is Brandon at the Edge Pro, and we are going to talk about the changing the hinge and the latch assembly on the KM5. It's also going to be the same for the KM10 as well as the KM cordless. So let's head on back to the repair station and we'll get back and get to work. All right, we're over here at the repair desk and we are going to work on changing the hinge and latch for the wall KM clippers. This is going to be the same repair for the KM5, the KM10, and also for the KM cordless. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do is going to take out these two screws that are holding the hinge on, and that's going to require the uh, T10 is what we have here, Torx 10. And this, these screws do not have any slots in them to be able to go, um, to be able to go with a slotted screwdriver. Um, so you want to make sure you're using the right tools for the job uh, to help prolong the life of the screws that you have here. I believe with a new hinge, you get new screws. Um, so that is a nice feature that that wall has given us. So we're going to go ahead and take those screws out, and then we'll get in on this repair. All right, so we got our screws out. They're just two small screws. And once we take those out, the hinge just comes right off. There are two little notches here on the sides that kind of center the hinge for you. And as you can see, they go into some brass inserts down into the field, or down into the housing. Um, so that holds the, the hinge screws nice and tight in there. Uh, the wall hinge, we don't have to worry about preloading the springs like we do on the, uh, the other hinges like the Oster Volt uh, or the Heinegger Sapphire. So that's nice, we don't have to worry about that. Um, and it just holds itself together. If they ever come apart, remember from our hinge video that uh, those two springs right there go through your latch and we'll hold it all on there. And if you ever need a refresher, just head on over to that video. Uh, we reference that video a lot and it's a, a frequently asked question about how to hook up the hinges like that. So once we get our new hinges, again, I like to go ahead and close them. It's just a little bit easier for me to work with. Uh, so I close the hinge there and we set it in there and those two side bumpers kind of line it up for us. It slides down towards the bottom of the housing is where it needs to rest. And then we'll go ahead and put our screws back in there. Um, anytime we're working with Torx screws, uh, just be careful not to over tighten. Uh, you can get a lot of torque going on there with those screws. And so we don't want to don't want to over over tighten those and cause uh, another repair that's uh, that could be more expensive. And so uh, just get them down to where they're they're tight. Uh, maybe a little bit a little bit more than snug. There is. Um, a lot of motion and violence that goes on in this area of the clipper, so you definitely don't want them to be loose. Uh, but as long as we don't over tighten them, uh, that, that'll be helpful. And then uh, we'll get these screws put back in. And once the screws are back in, uh, that'll complete the repair of a new hinge. Uh, one way we test that hinge is we'll close it, and if we can lift it and open that hinge by hand, then we're going to go ahead and make that repair um, because that hinge needs to be strong to be able to hold the blade up to the clipper. Uh, so that's what we'll use as our gauge to be able to test it and whether we need to do the repair or not. And then we'll do what we just showed you here in this video. And if this has been helpful for you, make sure to give us a thumbs up on our video. Uh, and if you like this video and want to see more like it, feel free to subscribe to our page. And we, uh, we're always going to be posting, posting videos like this to help you be able to work on your tools and um, just give you more education about this side of, of the uh, industry that you guys work in. And feel free to leave any comments uh, in leave any comments below uh, with any feedback that you have on, on what we're doing here today. Thank you.